Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that how to read and write the CSV files inside your Python application using a CSV module. So this will be a complete video. We will be covering all the methods out there. So basically, uh, this CSV module is built in inside Python. You need not have to install it. So just create an app.py file and then you need to simply import the CSV module here. So just right at the very top you just need to import the csv module and now we just need to create a csv file out there so here you can just create a output dot csv file and mind you all the source code that i am using in this video is given in the description of this video i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website uh, which is is given in the description of this video so step by step instruction is given and all the source code is also given so now with the help of this open method we will be opening a output.csv file inside inside the second argument you provide the write mode w stands for write mode you can even provide read here because if you want to read the file so here we will be writing the file so that's why we have provide w here and then the third line is new line corrector so this basically calls as a delimiter so we just need to delimit whenever there is a new line corrector and we will call this as csv file like this colon and then inside this basically now we will be creating a writer object so this csv module contains a writer method guys and inside this we will pass the csv file like this you can see that csv file we can pass this object here that's all and now we just need to insert the data some data which is code goes inside the csv file so inside this uh, array of objects we will provide the first one will be the header row so it will contain three columns first is name age and country you can provide as many columns as you want put a comma and then inside this second arrays you will provide the data so here you will provide the name you will provide basically the age and then you will provide the country so similarly you will repeat this process so you will say here you can provide some sample data here and then let's suppose I provide some more data here and lastly I provide here like this so we have provided you will see that guys we have provided four rows of data this basically it's a header row which contains three columns name age country and now we just need to write this data so we basically can use a simple for loop here for row in rows so rows is basically our array here you will see that and here inside this rows data we can use basically an object here writer dot and basically it contains a method out there which is called as write row out there write row and here we can pass a actual row data here you will see that we are we will use this loop to iterate through each row and we will write it inside the csv file so first of all it will write this header row then it will write this row this row this row this row so basically this is the method out there and now basically if i run this python script you will see in the left hand side it will create a output.csv file you can see output.csv file is created and now you can see all the data is successfully written here you will see name age country you can see john 25 you can see new zealand so all this data is written successfully inside the csv file so now guys if you don't want to use this for loop instead you want to automatically pass this whole uh, array of data directly without using this for loop there is a second method out there which allows you to directly pass this uh, full array of data so here we can simply call writer and this contains a method called as write rows instead of write row so write rows basically takes a array of data so here we can directly pass the array of data which is holding the rows of data here so we can directly pass rows here so now what will happen let me delete this file here and once again execute this data so now you can see we are not no longer using the for loop we are directly passing the array of data directly inside this write rows function so now what will happen if i execute the script again this will create output.csv file and again basically it will write the same csv file out there so this is really very easy steps in order to how to read how to write csv files with the sample data you can use this sample of code 
it is also given in the description of the video now coming back to how we can read the data so on the command line so reading process is also very easy you just need to import the csv file and then basically you will load the csv file from which we need to import the data so we will open the file so we will open this file output.csv which we have created in the earlier step so we will simply open this output.csv file and but now we will be changing this read mode r here we will r provide r mode because we are reading the file so here we will create a reader object here and here we will use basically a method which is called as csv.reader and inside this we will pass the csv file from which we need to read the file so basically this contains the reader object right here and now we can simply use a for loop here for row in a csv reader and basically we can print out each row out there you can see that this is a very simple process of reading the csv file and now if i you will see that it will basically uh, read all the data which is there inside the csv file out there it, this is the header row this is the four rows of data out there so in this easy way you can read the data guys and uh, also at the at last you can even close the connection which is a very good practice so csv file dot close just close the connection after you have read the data so this was a short little tutorial on how to read and write files in python using the csv module all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video